Hey, Style of Times Tunes. We just finished installing this live scope. It's the Garmin LVS 34 live scope. Basically gives you that live view of what's happening with the fish. This is a fishing pontoon. And I just wanna take you through, I'm not gonna show you how we installed everything, but I wanna take you through the options so you have an idea what might be possible for your pontoon. So this to start with, like I said, we have the LVS 34, that's that transducer. It comes with a kit in order to tie it into your graphs, your Garmin graphs. But what we did is we mounted it to this beat down outdoors, basically a steering stick, we'll call it. But that's the box for it, it's a transducer pole. And you'll see on the box, this piece here would normally bolt to the deck of your boat. However, there's not the front deck space for this type of uh, pontoon boat, so we weren't going to mount it there. Instead, we actually fabricated a bracket that allowed us to put this quick release bracket that came with the beat down outdoors system. So this can be removed. We can unplug the cable, the transducer cable, and take it right off the boat. When it's time to use it, everything locks right back in place and it is bolted to the railing of the pontoon. So that's what it looks like from the outside. Let's take a peek inside and I'll show you where we ran everything. Let's start with power. Underneath this seat, we have a 27 class deep cycle AGM battery, big heavy battery, 100 amp hour with an on off switch. That's critical to have the on off switch here because that live scope system is going to continue drawing power regardless. Even if you unhook your transducer, from everything I've researched, you're still gonna be drawing power and you're gonna kill that battery. So that is turned off. On the dash here, we have a 12 inch Garmin graph. This has its own transducer on the back of the boat and that's gonna give the down and side imaging views your more traditional sonar stuff. But the cool part is this is networked in to our front 10 inch graph, same graph, just 10 inch. And what that allows you to do because they're interfaced is I can get the same view on this as that. I can see my live scope on here as well as the front. They're completely interacting. In fact, they even both turn on when you turn one or the other on and off as well. So the graphs are also both powered by that deep cycle battery. And if you come up front, what we've done is we have our live scope, our handle here. We've run our cable in. This is completely removable because if you don't want to stay on the boat, by golly, it shouldn't stay on the boat. Our graph up front here, I need to remove real quick just so I can show you what's happening underneath. And in this locked box, there's a deep cycle battery. This is for the trolling motor, so ignore that for now. But what we have is that brain box for the live scope sonar. So that's for that live scope transducer. It has power coming in. It has our network cable and the transducer itself. So. This is what's going to our 10 inch. We have a network cable that feeds this 10 inch graph. It comes in the back and feeds the 10 inch graph. And then we have our network cable that connects this 10 inch graph to the 12 inch graph that's on the dash. So we have two network cables. When you're just doing two graphs like this, you don't need the whole bus bar network bar. You can just interface the two together with two network cables. Again, this transducer cable is removable. It just pulls through the side of this lockable battery box and we can lift this right off. But fishing wise, I can sit here or stand and I can look out forward. I can look on the other side of the boat. I can look straight out and I can fish. I can watch, I can cast, I can control all from right here. This is where pontoon boats are going in the fishability, durability, and universal use, because on this boat, I can fish super effectively off the front or the back, but I can also take a group of friends out and we can hang out and relax on the couches as well. This is a custom built boat from the ground up as a restoration. So we just take what our customers want, we put it together, and that's how we come up with something like this with a live scope setup. Thanks for watching.